my name is Rome Alexander Vargas, and I am an eighth term photo student at Art Center. So the project is me documenting myself transforming into Donna, and also me documenting the lifestyle that is of a drag queen. It's not only just following me and my beginning journey into this drag lifestyle, but it's also the atmosphere that surrounds drag queens. It's the process of becoming a drag queen. It's other queens and just seeing how different drag is. Donna Karen Ho is the twin sister that lives inside of me. She can do what Roman can't, which I am still trying to figure out through this project. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm I'm really shy and I'm not that brave in person, but Donna is the complete opposite. She is very brave and very outspoken and kind of has no filter. <laughs> I think through the project, I think I'll be able to figure out how and why she can do what I can. The name originally was just, um, it was just Karen Ho. I wanted it to be reminiscent of a strong female who I admire, which is uh, Karen O from the IAS, but I obviously couldn't use her name, so I changed it to Ho. To be funny, I used my full entire name, Roman Alexander Vargas, so I wanted it to be three names. So I thought of um, a strong woman that my mom really liked, who was also a singer, which is Donna Summer. And then I realized Donna Karen is a fashion designer. But that kind of works too, because Donna is all about fashion and she loves to look good all the time, so. I've, so. Drag is something I've always wanted to do. I've been wanting to do it since like high school, but I just didn't know how or like where to start. But how I started it was two friends of mine, and they started doing drag. And I was like, wow, like if they can do it, I can do it too. I started practicing like a year ago, like doing my makeup and um, making sure that I was ready enough to display Donna. I didn't really know that I wanted to photograph this process until Art Center approached me. I was just getting ready to start my first performance in drag and this was like the perfect opportunity for it to like kick me in the butt and to really like get myself started and like okay this is gonna motivate me to do it. Now I realize like I wanna keep doing it. Like it's it's fun. It's fun to be surrounded by glamorous like tall drag queens. Like I could do it every night if I wanted to. <laughs> I remember like as a kid, like my first experience to drag culture was looking at Nan Golding's work of drag queens and the drag queens that she lived with and that always just like really resonated with me, so it's weird like me doing drag and looking at my work next to hers, it's kind of crazy. Hers is of course like way more developed and I'm hoping to get to that point with my work, but it's funny because that's, that's like the body, the body of work of hers that I've always really loved and I didn't know how big of a role it would play in my life until I guess just recently. I'm always constantly thinking about her when I'm photographing the drag queens and this process. This is completely different from work I've made in the past. I mean, first of all, the 4x5 camera is my baby. It's like my child. It's something I've been using since I started Art Center. I've always loved photographing people, but the whole like 35mm point and shoot on camera flash thing is totally taboo to me, so it's been kind of weird to get used to. But then I realized it's not necessarily like how it looks, it's like the feeling you get from a photograph and there's, I mean it could be any feeling really, it could like make you mad or make you happy, make you sad, as long as there's a feeling then I think that you've accomplished something. And I think with this new body of work, not only it being like aesthetically different from my work I've made in the past or my commercial work, it's produced and it's like it's nice lighting and obviously like a model from the camera but these subjects aren't models they're regular people they're drag queens and I'm still photographing people it's almost like someone different is taking the photograph 
but I know that it's me, but it's, it's a lot more brave, it's a lot more approachable, and it's a lot more I want to know these people rather than what's wrong with these people, like why are they so sad or why are they so... Because with my normal work I would get a lot of questions of why. My plan for this project is I would love to make it into a book, and this is something that I like really, like truly want to make into a book. I know like by the end of this art center MySpace thing that it will be like a, a little book, I mean, but I'm hoping like in the future, as I continue it, it'll be something that's commercially successful and I think there's aren't a lot of books like that that show these, these kinds of subjects like drag queens. How many people do you know who is a photographer and a drag queen at the same time? Like I don't think, I don't think that's ever been heard of. I don't know how long Donna will stick around with me. I don't really know if she needs to. I don't know if she's just like this thing that's helping me get through whatever I'm going through right now. And I don't even know what I'm going through right now, but I don't know. I really don't know how long Donna will be around. I don't know how long I'll be doing drag. I don't really know what's in the future for me as far as drag is concerned. All I know is that I want to continue photographing this project because I feel like I've taken a lot of things way too seriously here at Art Center and I think with my last term this is this is really who I am, you know, this is this is a lot more fun. I'm still creating images that are beautiful because drag queens are beautiful. People don't realize how much time and effort it takes for a man to transform into like a beautiful woman. It's insane to me. When I put on the makeup, I'm not Roman anymore. Like I, I feel like this, this like, this like other like layer of skin that's like on me that like I can't get hurt. It's like kind of like being a superhero. Like you're just like, no one knows what you look like under all that makeup and that wig and the clothes and the heels. Like nobody knows who you are. So when you take it off, it's like, okay, you know? It's like almost going into a trance kind of because every time I go up on that stage and perform, it's like, I remember bits and pieces, but I don't remember it until I see like a video or like a picture and I'm just like, Wow, that's, it's crazy. It's, it's still something I'm trying to understand. I really just, I wish I could do that without being in drag.